just announced the first cell totally controlled by a synthetic chromosome, one that we made by starting with the genetic code in the computer, uh, four bottles of chemicals, and building every one of the uh, million the plus DNA base pairs DNA in the right uh, order, the DNA band and, and then finally having this uh, large molecule uh, inserting it in a recipient cell uh, that molecule started to be red and transformed that cell into a totally new species. Think of uh, small pieces of DNA like Legos. Uh, we have pieces uh, that overlap uh, with the identical sequence uh, so that we can put small pieces together to make bigger pieces. This project started 15 years ago trying to understand what a minimal life form was. Uh, it was based on trying to understand uh, uh, whether there was life on Mars, or what size uh, life forms those could be, uh, could we understand a, a single a cell even, let alone uh, the whole human genome. But it also means it's a great tool set as we try to solve uh, some of these problems we're all facing. Uh, we have 6.8 billion people here now. Uh, within 30 to 40 years, there's supposed to be 9 billion people. We don't have a means of providing food, clean water, medicine, energy, uh, for the 6.8 billion, uh, and we're destroying our planet in the process. How do we do it for 9 billion people? We need new tools of science. It is a powerful technology. It's uh, what has been labeled as a dual-use technology, like most technology is. It could be used for uh, doing harm to others or, or uh, trying to uh, solve the problems of the planet. Uh, so our view is it's sort of a linear increase in what people could do on the problem side, but it's an exponential increase in what we can do on the positive side. Uh, but obviously we have to worry about uh, in this day of uh, constant threats of terrorism, people trying to make something deliberately harmful. Uh, but we have an extremely sophisticated team that did this work, uh, and this is not going to be uh, replicable in the near future in the high school science lab.